Welcome to Spider Technologies. My name is Jason, and today I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of using the popular MicroSIP soft phone with your Spider PBX telephone system. MicroSIP is a free soft phone application that you can load on any computer, laptop, or tablet using Microsoft Windows. But first, what is a soft phone? The term soft phone is essentially short for software telephone and is an application you can load on your computer to make telephone calls without having an actual physical hard phone. There are both free and paid soft phone apps available for every platform and operating system out there, and they all work just fine with the Spider. The key differences between the various soft phones are typically in terms of one, the list of audio and video codecs they support, two, any supported features and how they are incorporated into the actual user interface, and three, any services offered for management and mass provisioning of a large user base, which is beneficial in minimizing any support overhead. So why do you even want a soft phone? the vast majority of users will typically have and greatly prefer a physical hard phone. But it's not always the best choice. Let me give you an example. Just think of a busy call center. They're often considered a harsh environment in that workers tend to be very hard on the equipment. They really don't need much, which helps, just a basic telephone and a headset. And when one breaks, you simply throw it out and replace it with another. But replacing $100 telephones and headsets can add up over time. What if we could reduce the cost to just a headset? Well, if agents are reading scripts or filling out forms on a computer, maybe we can use their workstation as the telephone as well, and just plug the headset in straight into the computer. The MicroSIP soft phone in particular is by design very lightweight and takes a minimal amount of processor and memory overhead. If you think again about that call center example, they usually do not have the latest and greatest computers. So being lightweight can be especially good. That is to say that if your computer locks up and freezes on you, you probably won't want to use it for your telephone calls. As far as the supported codecs, the MicroSIP soft phone uses the same open PJ SIP stack as the Spider PBX itself. Therefore, MicroSIP supports all of the exact same audio and video formats that you would ever use. In terms of features and user interface, it really is slimmed down. You have some basic buttons at the bottom for do not disturb, automatic answer, conferencing, call recording, and voicemail. You have the ability to add shortcuts. If you go to the Contacts tab, you can monitor other extensions with BLF or Busy Lamp Field by adding a contact and then checking where it says Presence Subscription. So let's make a couple test calls. I'm going to go ahead and dial 220, which is the telephone off to my right here. And I'm going to go ahead and answer it. And that's it. We're talking. So now let's make a video call. Now, for purposes of this video, I have pointed the camera. We'll accept video this time up at the microphone above my head, just so you have something to look at. So you can see the local video, me here on the laptop, and the remote video, the far end. And that's it. You know, very easy, very straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and end the call. All right. So let's talk about the final piece to this puzzle, 
and that is the headset. While they do come in all shapes and sizes, there are essentially three different kinds of headsets. Bluetooth, USB, and mini jack. Bluetooth headsets are wireless, have a battery that needs to be charged, and can also be paired with a cell phone. Now, bear in mind that if your headset's battery dies and you're using a soft phone, you do not have a physical hard phone with an actual handset to fall back on. So keep your battery charged. It's also important to mention that not all computers have Bluetooth built in. So while you'll be fine with laptops and tablets, just be sure any computer workstation you want to use supports Bluetooth before picking up any Bluetooth headsets. If your computers do not support Bluetooth, it can easily be added with a USB dongle similar to a wireless keyboard or mouse for a minimal cost. USB headsets come as either wired or wireless. And if it is wireless, then again, it will have a USB dongle similar to a wireless keyboard or mouse. All of the same rules and keeping your battery charged still apply with a wireless USB headset. If, however, you have a wired USB headset, power will never be an issue. There are no batteries. Finally, mini jack headsets are always wired. They come with either 2.5 or 3.5 millimeter jacks and requires the computer to have a sound card. Typically, the red jack here will go into the microphone outlet and the green jack will go into your speaker outlet. Again, while you'll be fine with laptops and tablets, you just want to make sure any computer workstation you want to use has a sound card before picking up any mini jack headset. Now, having said that, we almost always advise against mini jack headsets. The one and only reason is because mini jack headsets use the computer's sound card, whereas the USB and Bluetooth headsets are actually seen as a new device that is completely separate from your sound card. The reason why this is important is because you may not always be wearing the headset. You may be away from the computer. While mini jack headsets are the most affordable, all of your computer sound will be directed to your headset. But we want to send the ringer, that is the audio indicating an inbound phone call, to your computer's desktop speakers. That means with a mini jack headset, the only way you would ever know that you have an incoming call is if you are actually wearing your headset. In contrast, because USB and Bluetooth headsets are separate from your sound card, we can choose to play the ringer audio on your desktop speakers so you can hear while you're away that you have a call inbound and still have audio for our conversation over the headset speakers. Once you know how you're connecting a headset, it's just a matter of cost and preference. One final special mention is the benefit of using a soft phone such as MicroSIP with a remote workforce. If you are in a controlled environment dedicated for your work, by all means, just keep using the physical hard phone. It is the superior choice. But if you are working from a laptop, and finds that you are needing to retreat to another room for whatever reason, having a soft phone can be great. That is to say that there is mobility in easily moving your telephone with you wherever you go because it's running on your laptop as software. Pick up and move. In terms of connecting with your company systems, when you VPN into the office on your computer, all of the software on your computer now has access to that secure connection. This means your telephone extension has now also been secured and there is zero exposure on the public internet. Practically speaking, this means when you begin your day of work, the first thing you will do 
is connect to your VPN. After the connection is established, your soft phone is ready to go. That's it. This applies to traveling salespeople and the like as well. Whatever location you find yourself, as long as you have a good quality internet connection, simply fire up the VPN and you're set. I hope this helps and gives you a nice demonstration of using the completely free MicroSIP soft phone with your Spider PBX telephone system. It is easy to do, very simple, straightforward, and will both save you on hardware replacement costs in harsh environments and enable a mobile workforce. If this piques your interest, please contact us. We would love to help you out. Thank you. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new videos. Thank you from all of us at Spider Technologies.